up a chair and join me today Out in my workshop I'm tinkering away Wand above staring down on me Wonder what my next project will be Working on my Johnson, my Mercury Mark 10 Firing up my Starcraft to fish again Grab your friends and your dog is too To watch Tim's Workshop on my YouTube Hey, welcome to Tim's Workshop. We just got back from doing some uh, saltwater fishing. The handle on my Yamaha kicker motor is... Uh, get the water out of it. I washed the, uh, the outside of the boat and the motors on the outside. Today I'm going to run uh, fresh water through the inside of these motors to flush them out. But uh, I'm going to fix this handle first, so I decided, hey, I might as well do a video on this in case uh, any of you guys, it'll be a short video on how to fix your handle <laughs> if it comes loose. And you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. And uh, so I think what I need to do is put a, like a lock washer on here to keep this from coming loose all the time. And I don't know if you can see this, but that's the uh, bolt down there. And I can get the uh... huh? Must be uh, like a 11 millimeter or 12. So I gotta get the right wrench. I can get an open end on it, and I can tighten it that way. Well, let's see. I got a 11 here. <coughs> 12 yep there we go righty tighty so what I need to do is put a, um, a lock washer on this so I'm going to take this bolt off and put a lock washer on it so I'm going to take the oil cap off which is in my way. Plenty of oil in it. All right. Got to pull the, the handle out as you're doing it. Otherwise, you don't have enough room to get the bolt out. Same way with putting it back in, you gotta push it in. Well, when you're tightening it, it'll pull it in, so that's no biggie. And there we go. Now, to get that bolt out, I need to uh, get my needle nose to grab a hold of it. I almost got the bolt out. There we go. Yay! Okay. Now I just need to get the uh, lock washer that'll fit this. Okay, so I put a screwdriver on the head, got it at the same angle as this, and uh, using the, the open end 12 millimeter to turn it. And I got it started. I believe. OK, 
Okay, I may have got it. Let's see. Yep, I got it. Yay! Wasn't easy. You got like five, six washers and a bolt that you're trying to get into a hole in a blind area that you can't see. <laughs> and you're trying to get pressure on it with a screwdriver against the motor. Yeah, not that easy. But we got a lock washer on it now. Now, if anything, it'll make it a little tougher to come unwound next time. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Finally now getting around to it. But it's 11 millimeter, just so you know. And not a whole lot of room to get to it. Now there is one more issue. There's a indent on this washer that you have to get in the right spot. There we go. Okay, now let's continue tightening. The indent is to keep the wire on the washer in the same spot. If it didn't have a hole, um, if it didn't have an indent to made up that washer, every time you go like this, it would uh, it would actually cut the wire. So, and the wire is not electrical wire. It's a uh, it's a cable. It's this cable up here that controls your throttle. So you want to make sure that. Uh, when you start tightening this, you get the indent where it needs to be to lock that washer in so it doesn't move. Okay. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Yay! See it moving? There we go. Got it! I'll show you one more time what it looks like on the inside. Now that I got everything together. Before I put the uh, oil connection back in. So you see the little... My screwdriver. See the little indent right there? Okay, that's what holds this washer together. And then there's the bolt. I got the lock washer on. Pretty tight area. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for uh, fixing the handle on the uh, Yamaha 4 horse. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell. If you like, give me a like. Hit the old hand thing. Let your friends and family know about my videos too. All right. So, till next time, see ya.